Hello everyone, my name is Sujit Kadoli. I'm the product manager with Anritsu for components, power meters, and power sensors. So today we are going to talk about Power Master here. And Power Master is an ultra portable USB based millimeter wave power analyzer that provides simple numeric and frequency selective average power RF measurements. So this comes into two variants. MA24507 that goes from 9 kilohertz to 70 gigahertz, uh, which is this one, and the other one, MA24510A, which goes from 9 kilohertz to 110 gigahertz. This power master provides very broadband power range coverage with floor as low as minus 90 dBm. And the power master was created to minimize the cost to customers by removing inexpensive and unwarranted features. Like any other power sensor which uses thermal based uh, architecture, we use receiver based architecture that can only reduce the measurement time, but also allows for frequency selective which provides more accurate power measurements in the desired frequency band. Today's consumer electronics are getting much complicated due to multiple radios. For example, the smartphone. The smartphone has antennas anywhere between 5 to 10 antennas. A minimum of 5 antennas required like for LTE, Wi-Fi, GPS, BT, etc. And the performance of antenna is very critical due to limited space availability in the mobile phones and having multiple antennas result in interference. During the development stages, TRP and TIS is already tested to make sure those smartphones that are being tested meet the carrier requirements. So TRP is total radiated power and TIS is total isotropic sensitivity. Now the problem is for the production line or the manufacturing line where customer find it difficult to test the performance of the antenna of a fully assembled device. Since there is no direct access to the antennas, this must be done over the air. And testing over the air makes it prone to interference or crosstalk. So now the solution is the Power Master where we'll be providing two solutions uh, in Power Master, like channel monitor mode and power hunter mode. The first one, which is channel monitor mode, it allows the user to select up to six frequency channels, up to 20 megahertz wide, and monitor their CW amplitude or channel power simultaneously. And the other solution is the power hunter mode, where user can define a frequency range within which Power Master will identify the six highest CW amplitudes and their corresponding frequency. So Power Master is excellent for over the air testing, especially with millimeter wave signals that have high propagation loss. And it has user settings to control the measurement speed and noise floor. Today, we'll be showing you the demo on how we're going to simulate the environment for production. And we're going to do it using the Triaki signal generator and the PowerMaster MA24507. So now we have made the connections where USB signal generator and the PowerMaster are connected to the laptop via USB 3.0 ports. And we have made the RF connection from USB signal generator to the PowerMaster. And this signal generator will be generating different signals. And we'll be using those signals to simulate LT, Wi-Fi, GPS, in the lab environment. OK, so this is the software for USB signal generator that we are using. And this signal generator has a number of spurs that we will utilize to simulate the different RF signals. So I'm going to make some settings for the frequency or start and stop frequency or 1 gigahertz. and change the mode to single frequency without pulse modulation. So once we have this setting, 
make sure the RF is off we come to the power expert software and we will go to the channel monitor mode <coughs> so in this channel monitor mode we can set five different uh, six different frequency channels and measure their CW power so we are gonna set the CW max and 20 megahertz span apply these settings and we gonna for each signal that we gonna simulate for LT Wi-Fi GPS I'm sending setting a different uh, frequency here So once this table is updated, we can go to VAG software and turn the RF on. <coughs> so now uh, you can see here, you can record these power levels that we can see for different uh, channels. And we can verify if these are within the standards that we are verifying for different antenna say for example Wi-Fi LT GSM for different frequencies that we can verify if they are in the standard limits so now the we have seen the channel monitor mode we will see the power hunter mode where we can demonstrate how the power master can also measure the power of just one signal say we want to measure we are testing a trans transmitter at 1 gigahertz and uh, we also want to look for spurs harmonics first we'll turn this RF off and <coughs> we'll set the start frequency as 500 megahertz stop frequency as 5.5 gigahertz and we will apply the above settings and turn back the RF on so now yeah this table is updated and you can see the same frequencies and power levels that you saw in the first scenario for the channel monitor mode and now if you want to suppress <coughs> the harmonics as spurs below a certain power level we have this minimum power that we can set and now I can set it to say minus 28 EVM and we'll set apply above settings so you can see the signals that are higher than 28 dBm. Thank you for watching our PowerMaster presentation with PowerExpert. Please visit www.andritsu.com for more information.